let's talk about grounding. And, and this is interesting, guys. I, I, I was wrong about grounding and Ryan corrected me. So I, I, I'm interested in grounding and earthing. And I did a previous podcast with Clint Ober. And I think that what I've learned from you and what I'm learning about grounding is touching the earth, whether it's grass or rock or ocean with your bare skin is earthing. And there, this is a real thing, right? Again, we're not back in hippie land here. Right. Okay. But what was wrong with my grounding mat? So there's, we need to make a distinction. There's earthing and there's grounding and they're completely separate. And people get those mixed up all the time. It's the biggest misconception I run across. Earthing is when, like you said, you're physically touching the earth through your lawn or the beach or the grass, uh, the dirt. Grounding is a term with the electrical system of your home. So when you plug into the ground, that's like the sewer or the waste system of your electrical system. Everything dumps stray current and dirty electricity onto the grounding system to get routed back to the, the power company. Now, on the grounding systems of our homes, uh, we have a ton of interference. So the last thing that we want to do is be connecting ourselves physically and electrically to the grounding system of our electrical grid of our home. We want to connect to earth, not ground. And so those two things need to be kept separate. Earthing good, grounding bad. Which is interesting because I wasn't aware of that nuance and I was plugging grounding mats into the ground and the outlets. And I've been doing this in Airbnbs. Not a good thing. And so we'll put a video in here of uh, us showing this dirty electricity with these grounding mats. And you can hear it with wires. So as you can see, as we get onto this mat, look how much interference that we have coming off this mat versus over here, no mat, it's clean. Now I wanna show how this travels onto the body. Okay. Hold out your hand, okay? Now put your hand on the mat. See how that energy now is going through the body? That's bad negative energy. And um, what I'm working on now, and we'll see how this works. Again, I'm just turning into an actual caveman. Uh, what, I, what we talked about is I actually want to use the earthing mat, but I'm going to run an actual cable from the earthing mat into the earth yes. rather than putting it in the ground in my house. And you said there are more sophisticated ways. You can talk to an electrician and have an outlet that's a dedicated, uh, grounding outlet that runs no other electricity. You can actually have an electrician come and make this. But generally speaking, these outlets that are grounded are not clean enough. There's a bunch of dirty electricity, this interference, and I'm just connecting myself to that. So yep. right okay. now, as we speak, I'm working on basically throwing a wire out my bedroom window <laughs> and putting it in the freaking ground to actually earth while I'm sleeping. And that seems to be the only way to do it. Yes, that, and that's the way we want to do it. But there's one other nuance too to this that we want to talk about. And now if you ground yourself to the grounding system electrical, and also, or to the earth, there's one more thing that we gotta do, and that's turn the circuits off in the sleeping area. The problem is, and we can demonstrate this in the video as well, is that when we're sleeping in our bed and we have the electrical wiring that's behind the bed and it's energized, it's radiating out electric fields six to eight feet. So when we're laying there, our heads can be within a foot of this wiring. What happens now if we ground ourselves is we make ourselves part of the circuit to where that circuit, that current can now travel through our body, through the ground, we're essentially making ourselves into a lightning rod and the, the charged electrons will say, oh look, there's a path back to ground. They're lazy, they wanna find the easiest source, the direct path. And now if we ground ourselves with an electrical current nearby, it's gonna flow through our body. So we have to turn the circuits off, we have to physically connect to earth, then you're gonna be doing it correctly. And so we'll, sh we'll show a video of this. You have a body voltmeter, mm -hmm. voltage meter, right? And I can lay in my bed and we can measure my body voltage, which is essentially, if I understand this correctly, the amount of charge that I'm carrying in my body. Yes. And I want that to be as low as possible. Yes. And if I'm grounding myself to the earth with an actual correct grounding mat, with something that's actually not going to an outlet, but it's going directly into the earth, we don't want the outlets near my head or near my body in the, in the room to be on at night so that electrons aren't just like skipping into that circuit. Correct. Yes. And so this is interesting. So now we're getting, I mean, it, if I hadn't seen the science, I would think we were getting pretty tinfoil hat now, man. <laughs> like now I'm, but it's interesting to me because it's empowering and knowledge is power. And I feel, I, I feel, it feels very cool and very meaningful to me to understand like, okay, I can flip this breaker in my house at night and cut the circuits in my room. And I can literally see, we measured this yesterday, my body voltage go down yes. when the circuits around my body are off at night. And I, like your sense was that's definitely going to affect the quality of my sleep. For sure, 100%. Yeah. And so I think that, that those two are probably the biggest things that I did wrong with my sleep is I was using a grounding mat incorrectly mm -hmm. and I wasn't thinking about all of the outlets that were near my body while I was sleeping. Yep. 
And this is interesting because, you know, I have a friend in Texas and I've been to his house. And, uh, and his, he turns off the whole power in his house at night. And I thought, wow, these guys are pretty intense, but they're actually pretty smart. Yeah. <laughs> and at, at, at his house, he has no Wi-Fi and they use, they use ethernet to iPhone cables. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm just doing it. Just like, I'm, I, you know, when I first thought I was like, wow, they're pretty intense, you know? But now I think like, okay, they know what they're doing. They turn all the power off in their whole house at night. Yeah. And you know why people like that and myself and other people go to those great lengths is because once you start doing this and you start leveling up, you start thinking more clearly, having more energy, sleeping better, just your whole bodily functions work better. You're like, wow, I like this. I want to keep doing this. And so you go to those great lengths to do that. And honestly, once you get in that groove and start getting used to it, it's not a big deal. It's just that initial setting up and a little change of the way you look at it and you're off and running, but it makes such a big impact. I mean, I'm gonna have a lot to explain to um, any future girlfriends <laughs> when they come to my house, but uh, it's, just, it's just weeding people out because any woman that I'm gonna date is gonna have to be cool with like, I don't even really like the word biohacking, but uh, yeah, I mean, right now, we're gonna talk about light in a moment, but I mean, at night, um, I have only red lights in my house, which are not as good as I thought, but we'll talk about why. And, and again, there's, there's already a lot to explain, when friends or dates come to my house, and it's there's gonna be even more now. <laughs> I just imagine the next woman I date saying, why is there a wire going from your bed outside? And it'll be an interesting conversation starter. Well, and I think the thing is, is that you're a little bit ahead of your time with this stuff. Let's go back 60 years ago and have the conversation about cigarettes. We're like, you know what? I don't think it's a good idea to smoke cigarettes in my house. I'm gonna tell people that let's smoke cigarettes outside. Let's not smoke in the living room. And that would be weird 60, 70 years ago, but now, no one would even think about lighting up a cigarette in your house. You know, I think the same kind of mentality is going to be coming towards with EMF into the future, where we're going to look at that like, you are exposing me to something that's causing me cancer. That's something that you want to be respectful of. 